all right hello everyone welcome back to talk 4712 hope you like the new setup if you don't well i like it a lot so i'm going to keep it for some time we are going to talk about a very interesting topic today we are going to talk about how many hours you should be studying now yesterday i got a very interesting phone call a student was preparing for some competitive examination working very hard want to crack this examination and he said that there are two different opinions over here that i'm getting when I listen to my teachers, they say that study for 14 hours, 15 hours, 18 hours, hell, don't sleep at all and study as much as you can. And when I listen to these toppers available on YouTube, topper interviews, a lot of them, there are abundance of that right now. There used to be a time where you could only find five, six of them. Now it is like thousands of them. So when they listen to them, he said that they're saying that only you should be studying for somewhere around eight hours, maybe even six hours. And that's how they became toppers. They they cracked these biggest examination like IIT, engineering services, gate, ISRO and all that. Well, the question to me is kind of funny, but I understand that it is a very big question in your head. You know why? Because back in 2016, when I was preparing for exams like BAR, CISRO, gate examination, there used to be one senior of mine. Who had gotten all india rank close to 117 gate examination had been selected in iocl and i used to talk to him and i used to ask the exact same question that how many hours should i be studying and this is this was his exact reply that never asked that question from me that is a stupid question i know now that that is a stupid question because that cannot be answered but i know that like 95 to 99 percent of you guys are thinking about that how many hours should i be studying i'll explain exactly why this question is idiotic and why you should not be asking that but at the same time i'm going to be giving you the answer to how many hours you should be studying so here's the thing about those two cases the topper would be saying that you should be studying for eight hours the teacher will be saying that you should be studying for 16 hours both are first of all are having different opinions at different viewpoints different mentality different upbringing so most of the time when teacher says i've also had those teachers who says that study for 16 hours sleep for four hours and like that there are a lot of people like that that one teacher used to say that the people who are going to get rank one or under 100 in this examination they study even when they are asleep in, in the dreams they are solving questions well that never happened to me but still i ended up cracking examinations so teachers say that most of the time because they want their students to study as much as possible so they think that maybe i will tell them to study 16 hours they will end up studying at least 10 hours or something like that all right because most of the people most of the students are big time procrastinators they love to party they love to enjoy they love to go out with friends they love to chit chat they love to watch stupid tv series and all that and uh, spend time watching big boss and all so they think that all right if i tell them that you should study this much you should do this much then maybe when they reduce it they are at least going to study like 10 hours or so but the problem is that some students are serious they are like i'm going to do whatever you tell me and then they listen to study for 16 hours and they end up saying oh the rest are studying for 16 hours so i'm going to study for 18 hours all right and then they end up wrecking their system so you have to take care of who you are listening to and you have to also take care of their perspective. So when the teacher tells you, he's not only telling you, he's telling the whole class. So he's going to take a holistic approach and that might not work for you individually. Okay, now let's, let's look at the topper. Topper says that I used to study for only eight hours and I got the top rank in this examination. Well, I will not say that that person is lying. I've actually myself seen people who used to study as less as four hours, six hours every day and ended up getting like all India rank 16, 17 like that. And even I've seen under 10 also. So you have to first understand that people are different. Your up upbringing is different. The way you were as a student in your school is different. The way you were as a student in college, it was different. The way you are right now, it is different. Your personal life, they are different. So you, your, your mentality, all of these things are different. So you can't possibly compare yourself with someone else who just cracked the examination. So first, keep this thing out of your head that there's a fixed mantra that this is how many hours I'm going to study and this is how I'm going to crack this examination. It does not work like that. 
so ultimately this is a game of an individual you have to play yourself and for that you'll have to devise a plan for yourself so don't listen to those teachers don't listen to those stoppers find out how many hours you need to study and find out how many hours you can study because you know the syllabus you know the end goal you know what rank you're looking for you know what marks you'll require to score that rank you know how much marks you're getting in test series you know how much revision you require you know everything you know the full plan then accordingly you will have to find out how much hours you can invest so some people are like they will study for 6 hours very efficiently if you tell them to study 10 hours they will lose their efficiency and some people they are so less efficient that they need to study more hours so they need to study maybe 10 to 12 hours i personally used to study somewhere close to 10 to 12 hours every day before cracking those examinations and rest of the time I was doing some other works like when I was in BARC training school I had to go to classes and all that so I used to find out that much amount of time but here's one thing that you should always consider that is you should not be wasting any time and by wasting time I'm not saying that you should not work out and you should not take a bath and all that those things are necessary but other than that you should not be wasting time going out watching movies and you should not be wasting time spending useless chit chat time with your friends so all those time that you're investing at least six months before the examination should be highly productive if that is happening with you then whatever hours you are spending in your studies that is good so maybe there's some family work all of a sudden that comes up and you have to invest time over there so you cannot escape that so other than that whatever you can invest it should be going in your studies it should not be wasted in any way so that is what you should keep in your mind i've always said utilize each and every second and by that i mean that whatever time you have that can be put in a protect productive manner should be put in a productive manner so that is what if you ask the question how many hours should i study that is a very stupid question because of this also that you cannot study the same amount of hour every day though that will also change yes or no because at some day you might be having classes the other day it is sunday so both of the days you are going to be studying the exact same amount of time no maybe one day you study for eight hours maybe second day you study for 16 hours now here's the thing if you study every day for 16 hours you are going to fall sick and then you are going to waste more time than you utilized and if you are studying only for six hours every day, you are not going to crack this examination because you are not going to cover the syllabus properly. You are not going to get the proper practice time. So it is going to fluctuate every now and then I used to sleep only for four hours. The next day I sleep for eight hours, something like that. So you have to adapt because the whole world is random and you cannot have a fixed schedule. So people who are in college, they will be having semester examinations every now and then there will, will be Viva. People who are preparing for uh, preparing along with job, they will be having their job going on and every now and then workload will be high. So you will be able to study less and then every now and then workload will be low, then you'll be able to study more. So depending on your situation, you find out how many hours you study for and thus that is the answer of how many hours you should study there's no fixed thing so don't listen please don't listen to a particular teacher who's going to generalize things that everyone should be studying for 16 hours every day that teacher i do not know why he is standing at that position because it is different for every student and if a topper says no topper is going to go over there and if he does or she does i think that he should not be over there but uh, no one is going to go over there and tell I used to study for eight hours every day and I say that if you do not study for eight hours every day you are not going to crack this examination so it is not going to happen you say that that because the topper says that I'm also going to do that so don't do that you don't that is easy that is easy that I fabricate a plan for you and this is how much you need to work now you have to fabricate a plan for you of what works for you this examination is about a lot of things and number one of that being that you have to find out things about yourself and how much you can take how much you can do and how much you should do and how much you should change to be that be at that level so that you are able to crack this examination all right guys so that was a small topic that was very very important for me to discuss i hope i can help you in this way if you have any more questions put it down in the comment section i will reply to each and every one of you and i hope you learned a lot out of it and don't waste time anymore on youtube get out of here and start studying that's about it see you guys later till then bye